Hi everybody. I always start off by saying hello everyone. This is my coconut milk soap. I think you guys seen it before. I've done plenty of videos on it. I like to speckle it up like this. So make it look like little coconut flakes. I don't use preservatives. Everything is organic. It has real coconut milk and coconut oil. And shea and... No, not shea butter, sorry. I could put both, but I'd rather use the coconut. I'm sorry. The cocoa butter. And just to give it a little more milky. Like a little more of a milky and creamy. Um texture and scent and feel on your skin shea butter is fantastic don't get me wrong they're both good but i have on my milks milky soaps i like to use cocoa butter okay i have to pry this open with something okay so i just want to use a little knife here and see. voila so I'm unmolding this one. Mm, I love it. I love it. It's coconut. Loving it. Um, I do use uh, apricot seeds to give it a little speckled look. It's very light and exfoliating. Um, these came out a little short, but I'll just cut them thicker. I'll just cut a few bars just to show you guys. See? Hopefully they'll turn a little lighter. I like them when they're like whitish looking, but I don't know. They never come out white looking. Probably because of the cocoa butter. This is about three ounces. So don't get fooled. They look short, but they're fat. Short. There's nothing wrong with short and fat. Okay, guys. So, if you want to moisturize, I like making a lot of moisturizing bars. This one is both moisturizing, but it's cleansing at the same time. Okay, so it's not just going to be a bar of dead lather. No. It's going to be a bubbly because coconut oil that I use in this also makes a great lather. That's why I like using it. But you can't use too much because then it's drying. Okay, guys. If you want yours, go to Etsy. I'll put a link below. If you have any questions, let me know. This is it. Can't get any better than that. 